be no pandemic in the reign of God. But we're in between. And so Jesus continues to come to us daily in many ways, but we're waiting for that final return, if you will. A quick story to you about one of the ways that Jesus came in our community this last week. Um, we have many people who have been in the hospital on ventilators. Um, I've anointed many of them. Uh, a family of a certain man asked me to go up and anoint their father because the nurses said he probably will not survive the day. This was two or three weeks ago. Um, I went into the room. Um, we have to wear all the protective gear, so I don't think that people can even recognize us too much. And everybody I had anointed who was on a ventilator was also in a coma. Much of those had been induced just to take away the pain and the anxiety. To have a ventilator tube down your throat, breathing on your behalf is very difficult. Well, I walked into this room and this man, his eyes were kind of flittering. So I was surprised that he wasn't in a coma, but he wasn't also awake. And I tried to speak to him and he didn't respond at all. In fact, I could not get him to look at me. I offered the prayers. Um, we anointed his forehead. And I tried to open, I asked him if he could open his palms, and he couldn't. So I opened his palms for him, and I anointed his palms. And then I spoke with him personally for a little while, not knowing, pretty much expecting he couldn't understand anything that I was saying. And then I offered a final blessing, and I left. Well, that man called me yesterday, and he said, Father, all I know is that I was in a dark, dark place, and I felt like I was preparing to die. Suddenly, someone touched my forehead, and Jesus Christ spoke to me and said, You are forgiven of all of your sins. I looked up and I saw you standing in front of me, but I heard Jesus talking. And then I tried to open my hands because you asked me to, but I couldn't. And you opened them, and as soon as you anointed my palms, I heard Jesus tell me, You're going to be okay. And then he said, I heard the conversation. You, sp you spoke to me for a little while. You offered a final prayer, and then you left the room. And he said, from that moment on, I knew I was going to live, and I'm alive. And he got home a couple days ago. And as he called me on the phone, he was crying. Uh, this man is like St. Paul. Uh, he met Jesus. Jesus spoke to him. Um, I was so humbled and praised. And Jesus does wonderful things if we let him. Believe in the sacraments. Believe in the presence of Jesus who comes to you. He'll find you and give you whatever you need. So what do you need today from him?